When young recruits join the Crows, the club accepts responsibility for their welfare, not just now, but for years into the future. That means giving them financial advice and helping them establish a career after football. For example, some players on their day off are studying a business course to assist in managing their affairs. Uh, so what we're going to run through this morning is managing projects. So we're going to run through that quickly. Then we'll talk about a little bit about communication. Uh, the business course involves about once a week where we go into Adelaide Oval uh, and sit in there for a session for three hours, um, sort of go through the course material and then maybe about an hour and a half to two hours of homework after that. This is more just a, a bit of a sort of dip the toes into something something to do after footy. I mean you look at blokes that, are, that go out of footy and own their own business and become really successful because of the the brand and I suppose the way they can promote it. This is a project designed to bring uh, people together socially, fun or recreation. Potentially for you guys, definitely for you guys. I think there's about seven or eight of, of uh, the Adelaide FC boys that do it, so we uh, we go in there once a week all together as a group, and yeah, I mean it's easy easy to relate with each other. We've all sort of got the same same thing going on, the same schedule, so yeah, it's, it's good fun, and I mean it makes the classroom a bit bit more lighthearted that you know everyone in there, and you, you sort of hang around with the boys all day, so yeah, it's good fun. Sloan, he can run into 50 though, gives it a launch, it's bending back, Mark on the goal line, on the goal line, that's a huge grab. Yeah, so very good grab from uh, Lions. Obviously, uh, life after football is very important, it's, uh, you only, I mean, you only, your career only lasts probably 10 years if you're lucky, and uh, obviously, you know, got another 30 years after that where you've, uh, you're outside of footy, I mean, you just look at someone like Brent Riley, I mean, your footy career can be cut short. I mean, in the next match, I suppose, something like that. So, yeah, obviously, life after footy is really important. And, uh, yeah, this business course is obviously something that I, I do, and it sort of sets us up for something to do after footy. Tackling is one of the key performance indicators that coaches look for. This week in Under the Coach's Roof, brought to you by Victory Verandas, assistant Darren Milburn reinforces the importance of tackling and the amount of time spent practising techniques. During our warm-up, there's a fair bit of tackling that goes into it, so we, uh, it's a big uh, thing that we've um, recognised in our in our club that we need to improve on. So we put a fair bit of emphasis into uh, into that tackling. Good tackler, I think, is uh, one who, who wants to be able to, to get in there and tackle. So I think it's the intent that they go about doing it. Um, yeah, you you got to want to tackle. Um, uh, it shows if uh, you only go half-hearted at it. Uh, they, they tend to break the tackles. It was a great tackle there from the edge. To That's the a serious today. tackle. That's yeah. a great tackle. Uh, we probably do it uh, two, three times a week, I reckon, uh, in, in the pre-season. It, uh, it can vary depending on uh, training loads, but um, there is a fair bit that goes into it. Um, we think it's an important part of the game, and I guess that pressure around the ball to get the ball back off the opposition. Dig your hip, dig your hip, dig, dig with your hips and swim. Former players that I played with, obviously uh, Jimmy Bartell was a, a very good tackler, um, Joel Corey, these types, um, probably more your midfielders who are sort of in amongst it that get uh, plenty of opportunities to tackle. I guess uh, Scotty Thompson's always uh, proven that he, he likes to get after the body and tackle them hard um, and even a young fella like Char Charlie Cameron, uh, he really uh, gets after them and pins their arms and, and doesn't let the ball out. Already this season, the Crows have been able to measure themselves against eight other teams. So which club has most impressed our fans? That's the question we put to them in the Have Your Say segment, brought to you by Farmers Union Ice Coffee. The yeah, Bulldogs, for sure. The Bulldogs. Because I think they're young, good, fast running team. Yeah, we'd have to say the Western Bulldogs because they knocked us off. Bulldogs! Port Adelaide. Bulldogs or Collingwood? Oh, it's got to be the Bulldogs. Uh, they just smashed us. Yeah. Western Bulldogs, um, they went really hard at the ball and, yeah, just beat us outright. North Melbourne. Um, probably because they're one of the best teams in the comp. Oh, Bulldogs by a mile. Oh, I'd have to say the Dogs. Oh, just the way they didn't let us play at all. Um, the Bulldogs. I'd say the Bulldogs, they run and carry and hard at the ball. Not too many mentions of the power there. Stay with us, more to come.